And when Governor Collins came in, we believed it was very important. Governor Collins believed it was important, and, and as her Commissioner of the Arts, I believed it was important to build on what the Brown administration had begun. We decided to take the program to a little different level. We began to focus on finding wholesale markets for Kentucky crafts. Phyllis George Brown had focused on trying to get retail outlets to focus on Kentucky crafts, to put them into um, high-end department stores, both in New York as well as um, we had one, um, one initiative in Japan in that administration. We looked at it um, in the Collins administration from a little different perspective, and we said, how can we open up more markets for producing craftspeople uh, so that they could sell at the wholesale level, and we would that way open up more opportunities for more craftspeople to sell more products. And we began to um, work with the existing craft staff. Fran Redmond was there at the time. She was terrific, and there was a great team on that craft staff, and they actually reported to me as Commissioner of the Arts. And we were the first administration to take a group of craftspeople to the New York Gift Show as an initiative to try to put the craftspeople directly in touch with wholesale markets. Um, the New York Gift Show brings together buyers from all over the world, all over the nation certainly, and all over the world who place orders for particular items. Um, many are mass produced, but it had a growing niche of handmade crafts. And we got involved in that on the ground floor and we took a group of Kentucky craftspeople and coordinated the exhibit and planned the exhibit and the outreach in a way that really put Kentucky on the map in that arena. Governor Collins personally attended that first show and each of the shows where we took Kentucky craftspeople. So we put a real emphasis in the Collins administration on how could we take what the Browns have done, move it to another level, and to open up additional markets for Kentucky craftspeople. We combined with that um, a real uh, effort to to begin to give craftspeople opportunities for additional education and training in business practices, um, sales and marketing, um, how to really make their work more of an economic stimulus for their families and for the areas where they worked. So we, we had a sort of two-pronged approach, bringing along the craftspeople and moving them to a level where they were prepared to sell more crafts and do that from a business-like perspective and working to open up more markets. And we had a great deal of success in doing that.